I'm Nathaniel Bouchard, and this is my Maker Portfolio. Lately, I've been developing micro tunnel boring machines. I'm breaking this up into many smaller projects to gain a better understanding of how to build an effective tunneling robot. I started by experimenting with silicon casting using water-soluble PVA filament. This will allow me to make expanding silicon rings that stop tunnel walls from collapsing. I've had mixed success largely because I can't find an affordable material soluble enough to manufacture small internal channels. I then built these two pipe crawlers. After the first had too little torque, I adapted my design to use larger servos and increased the voltage on the central motor. This design is much faster than the old one. I'm now building a rock drill to test my future robot's drilling mechanism. It is designed with a gearbox driven auger to move material away from the drilling face. The front face of this drill is a cycloidal drive. I machined the cycloidal drive out of aluminum on my CNC and its eccentric shaft on my lathe. This was my first major machining project. I'm now machining plates for the rock drill's gearbox. For the three years before my tunnel boring project, my main project was Polyvent. Polyvent is a humanitarian project started during the pandemic to address ventilator shortages. I created one of my favorite projects before the pandemic, the Flying Wing Rocket Recovery System. I built a two-stage rocket with a ring of flying wings as a first stage. These wings attach at second stage ignition, which is hard to time. In this test, the second stage fires at the ground. To stop this from happening, I built a compact control board that measures a drop in acceleration to fire the second stage instead of the fixed three second timer used in my first board. I used SMD components instead of the modules I used on my first version's board to save weight and increase reliability. The first stage aircraft need to function as rockets and as planes, so their wing surface area is small and their flight is not passively stable. I used PID control to keep the planes somewhat level in flight. My eventual goal was to make them return to a landing strip beside the launch pad. Much of the work I did crashed into the ground a few times, but I learned a lot in the process. These are a few more of my projects. Thanks for watching.